five hours? Yeah, a little bit. The incredible backdrop you see here is handmade by Victoria and I. It required the folding of a thousand origami cranes. For those who don't know, I proposed to Victoria whilst in Japan. In Japan, the cranes are a symbol of peace, happiness, and eternal good luck, and they're fabled to live for a thousand years. Couples will often fold the cranes in the year leading up to their wedding to learn patience, commitment, and communication. I folded 21 cranes. <laughs> He's not perfect and you aren't either and the two of you will never be perfect but if he can make you laugh at least once, causes you to think twice and if he admits to you being human and make mistakes, hold on to him and give him the most you can. He's not going to quote poetry, he's not thinking about you every moment but he will give you a part of him that he knows you could break. Don't hurt him, don't change him, don't expect for more than he can give, don't analyse. Smile when he makes you happy, yell when he makes you mad. And miss him when he's not there. Love hard when there is love to be had, because perfect guys don't exist, but there's always one guy that is perfect for you. I can't think of anyone else who's been so devoted to someone like you have, Victoria. From getting together in sixth form, there have been highs and lows, and a break up or two over the years. But throughout it all, Victoria, I can hand and heart say there was only ever one girl for this guy here. What a dress. This speech actually ends ten years ago, when Victoria was 24. That's when I wrote this speech. I've just expected Richard to propose ever since. <laughs> Debbie and I know that they have a strong, loving relationship. It may have taken Richard a few extra years to get round to proposing, but now their life, their new home is tied together, and we look forward to seeing what Victoria has planned for Richard next. Victoria, I give you this ring. As a token of our marriage. As a token of our marriage. And as a symbol. And as a symbol. Of all that we have shared together. Of all that we have shared together. Richard, I give you this ring. As a token of our marriage. As a token of our marriage. And as a symbol. And as a symbol. Of my love for you. Of my love for you. And all that we have shared together. And all that we've shared together. You are husband and wife. Please seal your marriage with a kiss. I love you so much. You too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know for a long time that you were the only woman I wanted to spend my life with. I was 16 when I first saw you walk into the common room at Hawcross, and I can still picture you in the fitted denim jacket you wore to school. It's one of my favourite memories. I thought you looked beautiful then, and you're even more beautiful now. I will never have forget how perfect you look today. I don't always show it, but you impress me every single day. You work so hard and are so successful because of it. You support me without question. I trust you more than anybody else in this world and I cannot imagine my life without you. Everyone please stand, raise a glass to my beautiful new wife, Victoria. Victoria. Thank you very much. <laughs>